Hello everyone and welcome to my video today. I'm going to be doing a flip cup on a plywood clock. It's I think about 30 centimeters around. Before I do that I'd like to give a shout out to a good friend of mine. Her name is Rosalyn. Her channel is Art with Rosy. Please check her out. I will put her link in the description below and go check her out. She has some awesome paintings. So anyway, I'm going to be doing my flip cup with Montmartre pre-pouring paints. I've never used them before, so I'm quite excited. And I've put a little bit of what's called in Australia blue tack in the, the whole way of the clock to cover up so that obviously the, the uh, paint doesn't run down the center and affect the turnout. So anyway, I'm unsure right now of what the colors are, but I will list them in the description below. That's obviously a gold. And then I have quite a bright pink. And then a more pale pink. I decided to, for the first layer, put the colors together. So the pink and the pink, obviously, and then this bluey color and then the lighter turquoise color or pale bluey turquoise sorry about that i will look up the the names and then my second layer i decided to do a different order so i add some white and change up the order a little bit just because i can and it's fun so i'm speeding it up a little bit and I'm going with dark blue and then pale pink for the contrast and light blue, turquoisey, whatever, and bright pink. A little bit of white. And I am ready to flip it over. I left it for quite a long time just for the paint to run down and then I used a little push pin to poke a hole in the cardboard so that the paint would flow out easier. And here we go. Very happy with that. It is so pretty. The colors are subtle and I just immediately love it. Very happy that I put white in because it toned down some of the colors. I did a flip and lip just to bring in some lines. I really like the lines and I'm just going to give it a minute or two to settle and do its thing. So I'm going to use some white to cover the rest of the wood because it's plywood. The paint actually struggles to run down if you don't have a lot of it. And I didn't want to have too much paint from the cup because I find that when I do pours on wood and hardwood and all that stuff, MDF boards, that it cracks very easily and it doesn't look very nice. So I'm going to spread it out as much as I can, tilt it until there is nothing left to tilt. So there you can see I've started the tilting and it is looking awesome. I'm loving the lines that I did. I'm very happy that I did that. It brings out the colors and it is just awesome. It takes me quite a while to do this because there's such little paint and I don't mind. I really enjoyed the process, but I'm going to speed it up for you because it takes a really long time.
I am super happy with this. I think it is so pretty. I love the colors that I used. I love the, the lines. I gave it a quick torch because there were quite a few bubbles. I didn't want to torch too much because I didn't want a lot of cells. But I think it's perfect the way it is now. I just used a, used a stick to get the paint that was stuck in the hole to like pop through. And there you have it. I am super happy with this. I think it is gorgeous. So here is a close-up video. Please tell me what you think. Um, I'd love to do more. And I plan to do one with Rossi where we're going to choose to do the same colors or something like that. We haven't made a final decision yet. And I look forward to that. So thanks guys. I really appreciate you watching and would love it if you would subscribe. I am really trying to get my channel to grow. Although I do not get to post many videos, I still would love the support. So hang around, there are a couple of close-ups and I will see you again soon. Thanks again. Bye.